Hajime no Ippo. One of, if not my favorite anime. I've watched this anime since I was a kid, and when I first watched it, I fell in love. I loved the anime. It was an anime where it wasn't just about fighting, but also about training, also about the mindset for training, and I loved it. I wasn't allowed to box, but I wanted to. And then when I finally started boxing as an adult, I started the anime again and I loved it even more because it was so relatable. This anime shows realistic yet exaggerated portrayals of boxing. It's realistic because it captures the mentality needed for fighting, right? The mentality for the training outside the ring and also the mentality for competing inside the ring. It also captures the grueling training that you need for competition. If you want to compete in this, you have to train hard and it captures it perfectly. It captures the styles of fighting, in fighters, mid-range fighters, out fighters and all the nuances in between. It's also realistic about the strengths and weaknesses not everyone has a bunch of stamina not everyone has a bunch of power not everyone can take a punch not everyone's tall and finally it captures the lifestyle you make so many sacrifices in order to box so many sacrifices in order to train as hard as you train and i love the fact that this anime captures that of course it's going to be exaggerated right because it's anime you know you have anime like dragon ball out there they're not going to make a realistic anime based off boxing without any level of exaggeration so they do exaggerate it every single fight has knockouts pretty much every single fight and numerous knockouts you know knockdowns i mean like five six knockdowns in a fight every single sparring session pretty much has a knockout it's it's like that but minus the exaggeration you can actually learn from this anime the characters are even based of real boxes a lot of the characters so for example mike tyson is embodied through ipo makanouchi through his peekaboo style you have people like jack dempsey's dempsey role being embodied through ipo yet again donovan razor ruddock an underappreciated boxer is embodied through sendo in fact both of mike tyson and razor ruddock's fights were shown in featherweight version through this anime you have thomas hearn's hitman style along with his flicker jab being shown through moshiba and you have khabib nomagomedov who chose to do boxing instead of sambo you see his future when he chooses to fight that same bear he fought as a kid this anime really has it all and this is why i love it now let's get to the training so what will the training consist of it will consist of boxing training of course along with strength training and cardio or conditioning work how often should you do this well this depends i would say if you want to do this all as one workout it would have to be something i do in a day not like just one workout but you could do this five times a week but you know for a more reasonable approach i would split up i would split it into strength cardio and boxing training and the strength work i would do two to three times a week as a one full body workout the cardio work i would do two to three times a week and the boxing training i would do five times a week now let's get into the actual workout so let's start off with the strength training exercise number one is one armed push-up so already it's eliminated quite a few people but you need to be strong to do this workout routine right you can obviously make adjustments for yourself if you do want you can just do archer push-ups right to make them a little bit easier if you can't even do that do one arm dumbbell press but you want to do three sets of five reps so if you're extremely strong you can also add weight to it so that you can do that three sets of five reps this is for that shoulder strength for that shoulder snap in your punches next up we have rotations so this is any form of rotational exercises ipo does wood chopping but to be honest if you're taking a biomechanical approach this isn't actually the number one exercise if you're thinking about punch power right that's not the exact same movement that you put into a punch so we're going to do horizontal rotation and you can do anything from resistant band swings so you have a resistant band on a surface and you just rotate as if you're throwing a hook or you can do you can have a tire and you can swing out a wall or a tree or you can have a medicine ball and you can throw the medicine ball sideways but any exercise where you're focusing on rotating horizontally and do that for three sets of eight reps so for legs we've got squats this is to build that energy in your legs that endurance alongside the strength with this you want to do three sets of 50 reps remember you're going to be bobbing weaving if you're fighting like Epo, and if you're basing your fighting off Epo, he's bobbing and weaving a lot with that peekaboo style and therefore he needs his legs to have energy so that's what this is based off right three sets of 50 reps next up explosive squats or squat jumps and i mean like max vertical jumps after each and every squat and you want to do three sets of five reps so a lot of epo's power came from his legs he was a leg based puncher kind of like mike tyson as well so this will help you to generate that power from your legs but also this will also help you to close that gap epo's an in fire right so you're gonna need to close that gap when you find those taller opponents this will help you so you can do those leaping gazelle hooks or even those leaping jabs as well next up leg raises this is just a train your core so five sets of reps till failure complete failure right so five sets you can do this hanging you can do this laying down this is just for that armor around your midsection so you can take more punches 
Next up, pull-ups. Now, Ipo doesn't do pull-ups. They don't do a bunch of pull exercises in general, in boxing. I don't know why, but people don't do that. And also, obviously, this is an animation. It's kind of like Goku. He never did pull-ups. So we're going to do pull-ups anyways because you don't want to get injured. You can also do like horizontal pull-ups if you can't do pull-ups or seated rows, things like that. And you want to do three sets of 10 reps. Now, neck work. Ipo did neck bridges and he did that with his coach's added weight. And this is extremely dangerous. So we're not going to do that, right? Now, there are safer ways to do neck neck bridges there are safe ways to train with your body weight for your neck but you can still mess those methods up and injure yourself so i'm not going to be the one to promote that to you guys i'm just going to say for neck work you want to do neck curls three sets of 10 reps and then neck sit-ups for three sets of 10 reps don't overthink your rest okay make sure that you are well rested because this is focused on strength and yet again you'll get your cardio work on the cardio section of the workout so make sure you rest three to five minutes should be cool even two minutes can be calm depending on how you feel after each set but if you're doing like a unilateral exercise for example rotations where you're doing one side at a time or when you're doing one arm push-ups you might want to rest let's say three minutes three to five minutes between each arm so maybe like a minute to three minutes in between arms but then by the time you come back to for example your right side you would have rested three to five minutes if that makes any sense that's it for the strength workout now let's move on to the boxing for the boxing workout you want to start off with shadow boxing so you want to do three three minute rounds the first round can be technical focusing on your form focusing on combinations throwing the right combinations making sure that your punch technique is good the second round can be focused on fighting so imagine that you're actually having a fight or a sparring session imagine that you're fighting during that round so have that same pace you might just be jabbing on the outside and then quickly get on to the inside through a few punches a combination a burst of energy and then back on to the outside right constantly slipping punches and throwing punches back and then the final round make it more so getting your heart rate up so up the intensity you're not necessarily focusing on fighting an opponent right here you're just increasing the intensity to get that heart rate up next up we have the slip rope so Ipo wanted to weave hooks and so he decided to start training weaving hooks when he was fighting Ozuma now of course he decided to weave metal pose which is a very stupid thing and you don't want to get injured like Ipo did so instead you want to use a rope you can just use your boxing wraps put them from one end of the room to the other end of the room and then you just want to weave underneath the rope for three three minute rounds you can do different drills you can focus on for example just weaving for one round where you're not throwing any punches then for another round you can focus on weaving and throwing punches as you're weaving moving backwards and moving forwards you can even do specific combinations like one two and then rolling under the rope and then throwing another backhand things like that or other punches like dipping and then throwing a right hand things like gazelle hook something that Ipo himself practiced and this is a great way to practice that so that you can load up the legs and come back up and spring into a powerful punch next up we have bag work for bag work you want to do three three minute rounds right now with this you don't want to go light no pitter patter light bag work none of that none of that Floyd Mayweather stuff in this bag work because it's only going to be three three minute rounds it's not going to be a long round so you want to hit hard with each and every single punch obviously use discernment you know when you're throwing jabs stuff like that but more time you want to be hitting hard and you want to be focusing on combinations practice your combinations so practice for example jab to the head jab to the body backhand to the head left hook to the head right hook to the body and then moving off right you want to practice your combinations basically but do that for three three minute rounds and then finally we have sparring now Ipo pretty much every single sparring session in Ipo was hard I don't know why they, they portrayed it like that perhaps that's what boxing was like back in the day but pretty much each and every sparring session was hard everyone was getting knocked out during the sparring sessions you do not want that right so we're going to focus on technical sparring keep it light so that you guys don't get CTE later on in life and you want to do three three to six rounds of two minutes in between each round you want to rest 30 seconds that's for each and every single part of this boxing workout and then finally cardio so you have two options when it comes to the cardio workout you can either do skipping right or jump rope so you can either skip for 10 rounds of three minutes and that's it basically so in between each round you want to do three intense bursts of 10 seconds so this can be high knees this can be double unders but basically going intensely for just 10 seconds each round three times so pretty much every minute or just before every minute going intensely so 10 three minute rounds or you can do sprints now for the sprint workout you want to do one kilometer run for a warm-up then you want to get to a hill so run towards a hill and then you want to do five to ten hill sprints depending on your fitness level 20 to 50 meters each sprint so five to ten hill sprints that all depends you can do five if you're not as fit yet or ten if you're fitter and after that you want to do another one kilometer run back so if you're american a kilometer is like two-thirds of a mile pretty much make sure to stretch so before the sprints for example
example after the kilometer run you can do dynamic stretches you know a skips b skips punter kick stuff like that and then after you want to make sure that you stretch properly stretch all your muscles out and this is how Epo would train if he was a real person that had a real strength and conditioning coach this is actually a well-rounded workout as well this is a good workout to do in general right so this is a good routine if you're new to boxing you want to try boxing and uh, you don't know what routine to do or you don't have money to go to a gym stuff like that you can't buy a program whatever this is a pretty standard routine this is a good routine for you i'm not gonna lie if you want to learn how to box from home and you don't know where to start check out my pugilist training program you get hours of video tutorials explanations and demonstrations plus if you want workout plans that aren't based on fiction try out either my armed and dangerous or my bodyweight brawler training plans both included in the pugilist program you also receive lifetime access to this so as it continues to be updated you continue to receive more for no extra charge hurry up though it's on sale and the sale ends in around 24 hours so don't miss out i hope you enjoyed the video it's beautiful flex and i'm out <laughs> all right kid let's do some mid punching yes,